This is our backstop assembly. It is used to set a hard stop in the machine so when you feed in tubing that's straight in the back on like this bent piece. It has a place to stop and it's got a scale for where the position of it is and it can be flipped around and also this orientation so the tubing can go in and hit the wall in the back. It gives it a lot more travel. So this one frame fits both the standard and XHD or in the new case, the 601, 605, and 625, the heavy duty frame. And it does so by using washers as a spacer against the standard thickness frames, and it goes directly up against the outside of the frame in the case of the 625. So there's a sp spanner in here that sets the frame width exactly so that it fits on the machine exactly as intended. And due to the welding process and the ribbing on this part, sometimes the front edge will actually collapse slightly so if you try to install that edge first, you will likely have difficulty getting it to install. This one's starting to slide on, but if you do the back first, then you can kind of just guide the front on. They're very easy to install that way, using that method. Once you do that, you can easily get the bolts to go through all four locations. The right side does use a different mount, that is to clear the auto stop, which is available with the two horsepower joystick operated electric hydraulic drive system for the machine. This mounts on the outside of both sides of the frame. And for reference, the outside of the 625 bender, which is the wider configuration, will be about four and a half inches. It's actually about 20,007 inch under that value. And the inside of this is basically exactly four and a half inches. They can be five to ten thousandths under that range, but they're going to fit very close to exactly matching the dimensions of the XHD or 625, the thicker frame capacity machine that we sell. And again, if you just pivot them from the back, they'll install quite easily, just like that. And one last tip. When you're using your backstop assembly, don't forget to make sure that your machine is set to zero or whatever degree that you initially set the backstop position with because as you vary the bend wheel position angularly, you'll also vary where the tubing is stopping up against the carriage on your backstop assembly. Thank you very much.